Hi students, good morning everybody. Hope that all are fine and just safe at home. Uh, I welcome all of you to the uh, today's maths class. Uh, today we will solve uh, some questions from exercise 3.1. In before uh, in previous class we have uh, uh, solved up to question number four, and today five to uh, thirteen. All the question we will solve three, exercise 3.1 5 to uh, 13 so all of you clearly watch this video and try to understand so uh, these quest all questions are based on the properties of square numbers so uh, revise the property and uh, after that you have to uh, solve each and every questions uh, of this exercise so watch the video carefully okay thank you Dear students, uh, today we are solving uh, the questions, remaining questions of exercise 3.1. In our uh, last class, we have uh, completed up to uh, 3.1, uh, fourth question. And today, fifth question onwards, we are going to solve. Look at the fifth question here. Which of the following numbers would have one at its unique place? while squaring the following numbers that means when we square these numbers which of the following numbers square have one as its unit place in the properties of squares we have uh, seen that a number ends with one or nine if a number its unit place is one or nine then its square's unit place will be 1. So here, uh, the numbers, the give, some numbers are given. In this given numbers, the numbers that ends in 1 and 9, their square's unit place also will be 1. Uh, therefore, which are the numbers? This 11. So 11 is a number. And uh, here, another number 49. 49 ends in 9, therefore its unit place in the square will be uh, 1. And here 51 that ends in 1, therefore, unit place of the square number also will be 1, and the next 79, 79 also ends in 7, therefore, its unit place of the square will be 1 and 81. So, these ticked numbers, the numbers which I have ticked, that numbers square will be where the unit digit of the uh, squares of these numbers will end in 1. So, uh, this question is based on the property, so that it is very important for all the students to uh, know about the property. If you uh, don't know the property, then you have to find out the square and of all these numbers and you have to see that uh, uh, whether it ends in 1. So, directly by using the properties of square, we directly we can uh, pick out the numbers whose squares ends with the unit digit 1. Uh, then, the next question, um, question number 6. Express each of the following perfect squares as the sum of n whole numbers. These perfect square numbers we have to express as the sum of whole numbers. In a property of square, we have studied that the every numbers, every perfect squares can be expressed as the sum of n whole numbers. Means uh, uh, here uh, 36. 36 is the square of 6. You know that. 36 is a perfect square, it is the square of uh, 6, therefore 36 can be expressed as the sum of first 6 whole numbers. As 36 is the square of 6, we can express 36 as the sum of first 6 whole numbers. So here uh, 36, we write here 36 is equal to 6 square, therefore uh, 36 is the sum of First, six whole numbers. Therefore, we can write that 36 is equal to 1 plus, which are the first three whole numbers? First whole number 1, next 3, plus 5, plus 7, plus 9, plus 11. So, these are the six, first six whole numbers. If we add this, 6 odd numbers, we will not directly get a 
that is it's now we have expressed in 36 as the sum of first uh, six odd numbers x uh, 1 plus 3 4 4 plus 5 9 10 plus 7 16 16 plus 9 25 25 plus 11 36 already we have got 36 so uh, every perfect square can be expressed as a sum of uh, n odd numbers if uh, uh, any other numbers uh, we can take 64 uh, another example 64 uh, is equal to a square therefore this 66 can be expressed as a sum of first uh, 8 odd numbers so uh, 64, 64 is a square of each therefore 64 is the sum of First, each one. Therefore, we can write 64 is equal to which are the first eight body numbers 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9 plus 11 plus 13 plus 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, if we add this age odd numbers, we will get 64. I think students, you understood uh, how to solve this question and remaining. Next question, question number 7. The question number 7 is that, write a Pythagorean triplet whose first member is 14. First question is 14. Uh, Pythagorean triplets, we know that uh, we have studied the property, we have studied that what is Pythagorean triplet. These are three numbers. The square of the highest numbers will be equal to the sum of the squares of other two smaller numbers. That is, these three numbers are called Pythagorean uh, triplets. And uh, we also uh, have studied that uh, how to find out the three numbers. The, which are the formula for finding out the three numbers that formula is 2n first number and n square minus 1 uh, that is second number and n square plus 1 that is a third number so here one member is given so this given member uh, that we have taken as 2n so i am going to write the first number is equal to uh, first number That is equal to 2n. That I have taken as 14. So, in order to find out the other numbers of this Pythagorean triplets, we want to know what is the value of n. Then only we can use that value in the formula n square minus 1 and n square plus 1. So, this 2n we have known. We have known. We know that uh, what is 2n. 2n means 14. So, we can find out what is n. Therefore, n is equal to 14 divided by 2 that is equal to 7. So here n is equal to 7. And we have got the n value that is equal to 7. Therefore we can find out the second number. Second number is equal to uh, n square minus 1. n means 7. So we substitute this value therefore the second number is equal to 48 then third number third number is equal to n square plus 1 that is equal to 7 square plus 1 that is equal to 49 plus 1 that is equal to uh, 50. So the three Pythagorean triplets are one is 40 already given on the question and second one is 48 and third one is 50. 
if it is the square of 50 and the uh, square of 14 and square of 48 and uh, add the square of 48 and 14 then it will be equal to the square of 50 that means 2500 will be equal to the uh, square of uh, third number so these three are the right number so uh, let's add Fourteen, forty-eight, and fifty. Next to question B, we will solve one more question in that. Uh, question uh, B is ten. First number is ten. So first number two n is equal to ten. Therefore n is equal to ten by two is equal to five. So second number uh, formula n square minus 1 that means 5 square minus 1 that is equal to 25 minus 1 that is equal to 24. So the first number is 24. Second number is n square plus 1 that means 5 square plus 1 that is equal to 25 plus 1 that is equal to 26. So the triplets are 10, 24 and 26. 10, 24 and 26 are the Pythagorean triplets. In that, uh, the remaining questions, uh, students will solve as a uh, common. Okay. Students, now we move to question number 10, uh, question number 8. Uh, write the following as the sum of two consecutive positive numbers. Uh, here, 15 square, first number. In the property of square numbers, we studied that uh, the uh, square of any odd numbers can be expressed as the sum of two consecutive numbers. The square of uh, every odd number, square of every odd numbers can be expressed as the sum of two consecutive uh, positive integers. So, that consecutive numbers means continuous numbers. Which two continuous numbers, if we add, we get the square of 15. The square of 15 means it is 225, 225. Which two continuous numbers, consecutive numbers, if we add, we get uh, that 15 square, that means 225. So, in order to find out the first number, we want to find out the first number. If we know the first number, the next number will be the second number. So, to find out the first number, there is a formula. That formula is n square minus 1 upon 2. n square minus 1 upon 2. And n means the given number. Here the given number is 50. So, uh, 15 square. 15 square is equal to 225. Which two numbers, if we add, the uh, sum will be 225. So in order to find out that number, uh, we use uh, the first number, we use the formula. Therefore, the first number n square minus 1 upon 2. n square minus 1 by 2 and here n means 15. Which number is given in the question? That will be the value of n. Therefore, n square is already we have written that is 225. Uh, 225 minus 1 upon 2. That is equal to 224 upon 2. That is equal to 120. So, first number we have got 120. Therefore, second number will be the next number means 130. Therefore, we can express 15 square is equal to 225 that is equal to 112 plus 130. So 112 and 130 if we add we get 225 that is a square of 50. Okay. Then uh, one more question in that 11 square question B. 11 square. You know that 11 square is equal to 11 into 11 that is equal to 120. 
which two numbers continuous numbers if we add we get the 221 so the first number is equal to 1 n square minus 1 upon 2 and here n means it is 11 n means 11 n square minus 1 upon 2 that means uh, here it is uh, 11 square 11 square already we know that there is 121 minus 1 upon 2 that's equal to 120 by 2 is equal to 60 so first number is 60 therefore next number is equal to 61 so we can express 11 square is equal to 121 that's equal to 60 plus 61 so if we add 60 and 61 we get a uh, 121 that's the square of 11 so in this way um, we can find out uh, uh, we can express the square of any odd numbers as the sum of uh, two consecutive numbers positive numbers and in order to find out the first number children remember this formula n square minus 1 upon 2 if we uh, use this formula we get that uh, first number so that we can find out uh, the next number uh, that because these two numbers are consecutive numbers okay uh, question number nine without actually squaring the find the value of y without taking the uh, without finding out the square we have to find out y 21 square minus 20 square here 21 square we can find out and 20 square also we can find out and then we can uh, subtract that uh, square numbers and then we get the result but here the question is without taking the squares of this number how to find the value how we can find the uh, answer of this question uh, so we are not allowed to take the squares of these numbers dear students in the property of square number we have studied in one property we have studied that uh, the uh, difference of uh, the squares of two consecutive numbers will be equal to their sum. What is the property? The difference of the squares of two consecutive numbers will be equal to their sum. So, using that property, we can find out the value of this question. 21 square minus 20 square. These are two consecutive numbers, continuous numbers. So, the difference of these squares will be equal to the sum of these numbers. So, we can rewrite this as, therefore, this 21 square minus 20 square is equal to 21 plus 20 will be equal to the sum of these numbers. Sum of these numbers means we want to write 21 plus 20 that is equal to 41. So, when we take the squares of 221, 221 means 441 and 200, 200 square is, uh, 20 square is 200, uh, 21 square is 241, the, we take here the squares and if you subtract that, 241 minus 200 means 41 only, but here we are not allowed to take the squares, remember that, uh, using the property we have saw that, the property says that, uh, the sum of the square, the difference of the squares of uh, two consecutive numbers will be equal to the sum. So, if you add these two numbers, we will get the uh, value of that. Look at another example, 34 square minus 33 square. These are also continuous numbers, consecutive numbers. So, the difference of the squares of these two numbers will be equal to their sum. Therefore, we can write uh, 34 square minus 33 square is equal to 34 plus 33. That is equal to 67. 67. So if you take the square of 34 and the square of 33, and if you subtract that, we can find out that we will get a 67. Uh, the remaining question you uh, do as common. So we move to the next question, question number 10. Determine the digit at the unit place of the, in the given squares of the following numbers. So here are some numbers. We want to decide what will be the unit place of the squares of these numbers. Uh, in a property we have studied uh, the unit place of a number and unit place of a uh, unit digit of a uh, square number. We have studied the property. Uh, so here uh, the unit digit of these numbers 
is 46, the unit digit is 6. If the unit digit is 6, any number's unit digit is 6, a square also will be, square's unit digit also will be 6. And 50, 50 unit digit is a 0. And if the unit digit of any number ends in 0 or uh, unit digit is 0, then it's the square's unit digit also will be 0. Next, uh, 97. 97 unit digit is 7. If any number ends in 3 or 7, its square's unit digit also uh, ends, uh, uh, ends in man. If a number ends in 3 or 7, its square's unit digit will be 9. Next number 132. Here unit digit is 2. So in the property, according to the property, if any number ends in 2 or 8, then its square's unit digit ends in 4. Next, uh, 258. 258, the unit digit is 8. So, if a number ends in 8, the square's unit digit also ends in 4. Square's unit digit ends in uh, 4. Next, number uh, 350. 350, the unit digit is 5. Therefore, square's unit digit will be 5. Then, 442. Here, the unit digit is 2. Therefore, square's unit digit will be 4. And, 525. 525, the unit digit is 5, therefore its square's unit digit also will be 5. So here we don't need to find out the squares of these numbers and then to determine, don't need to uh, find out its squares to determine which is the unit uh, place. According to the property, those who have learned the property, using the property we can directly say what is the unit digit of the uh, squares of this uh, given number. So that table, that property also everybody uh, should buy a part. Now, students, question number uh, 11. Question number 11 says that write four numbers which you can decide only by observing their one's digit that they are not square numbers. Means, by observing its unit digit, we can directly say that these are not the perfect squares. Like that, four numbers in the in the property of uh, square numbers, I have explained that in uh, one property, I have explained that every number ends in 3, 2, 7, 8, 2, 3, 7, 8. Every number ends in 2, 3, 7, 8. We can directly say that these numbers are not a perfect square. These numbers never be a perfect square. If any number ends in or its unit digit is uh, 2, 3, 7 or 8, any of this digit, then directly and clearly we can say that uh, they are not a uh, perfect square. There is no doubt about that. So here you have to write any such four numbers. You have to write any four numbers. That answer can be varied, can be different for every student. But only one condition that uh, that number should uh, end with uh, 2, 3, 7 or uh, 8. Any numbers you can write. But the condition is that its unit digit will be 2, 3, 7, 8. So I am going to write here one, uh, four numbers. Uh, uh, 42 is number uh, digit, once digit ends in 2. Therefore, 42 is not a, a perfect square. Uh, and uh, 113, 130, its unit digit ends in 3. Therefore, it is not a, a perfect uh, square. Then, 497. Here unit digit ends in 7, therefore it is not a perfect square. And 100, uh, 1128. Its unit digit is 8. So any numbers you can write, but one condition is that its unit digit should end in. 2, 3, 7 or 8. Like that any numbers you can make it. The answer can be different for different students. But uh, this point you have to uh, keep in mind. So these numbers we can directly say that by observing its unit digit itself we can say that uh, these numbers are not uh, a perfect uh, square numbers. Next question, uh, question number 12. The last question, uh, sorry, uh, yes, uh, question number 12. Without actual addition, find the sum. We won't add this 
without adding we should find sum here uh, the square of a number is expressed as a sum of a first n odd number so here uh, which number is this that we have to find out in order to find out that we have to count how many odd numbers are added here 1 3 5 7 9 11 that means 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 odd numbers are added so if 6 odd numbers are added it means that this number will be the square of uh, first 6 uh, so it is equal to 6 square that is equal to uh, d 6 so if we add this numbers also we get a 36 and look at second question here how many numbers are added 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 odd numbers are added therefore the sum will be equal to the square of 10 so we can write that 10 square that is equal to 100 so when we add these numbers also we get a uh, 100 okay students uh, the remaining questions in that you have to solve us come okay Yes, students. Now we are on the last question, thirteenth question of exercise three point one. Uh, this is the last question of this exercise. Which of the following are the squares of odd numbers? There are some uh, squares given. Uh, these squares you have to express. Uh, you have to say uh, which of these squares are the squares of a odd number. So in the property you have learned that uh, the squares of odd number will be odd. And the squares of even number will be even. So here, which numbers are odd numbers? Uh, they are the squares of odd numbers. So here, nine is an odd number. So this nine is the square of an odd number. That means nine is the square of three. We say is an odd number. Thirty six is an even number, so it is not. Hundred also even number. One hundred and sixty two also even number. Two hundred and fifty six also even number. And three hundred and sixty one. This is a Uh, an odd number, therefore, it, this is the square of an odd number, and four hundred and eighty-four and five hundred and seventy-six. These are all even numbers. So always the squares of odd numbers will be odd. Therefore, from this property, we can clearly pick out which are the numbers of uh, which are the which are the squares of a uh, odd numbers. So students, uh, these are the uh, questions of exercise three point one. So today we have solved many questions. Question number five onwards. Uh, we have started and the 30 questions we have uh, uh, finished uh, i think you have uh, understood all these uh, questions uh, clearly uh, watch this video clearly and uh, uh, if you have any doubt you can connect me on google meet and uh, you can clear your doubts and uh, uh, notes i will send uh, after this uh, in your whatsapp group therefore that pdf file that notes also you complete and also with that it is very important that uh, you have to uh, do the homeworks by yourself uh, you have to try it yourself and first of all you study on this property without studying the property you cannot solve this question by yourself therefore uh, you uh, understand the property and study it and uh, using this example you uh, make it clear and uh, try to solve it uh, by yourself so uh, now we will stop today's class so i wish you a nice day for everyone thank you